hello guys here i want to show you how to create the springboard by using the intel j and we are going to use the the gradle or the build gradle as as a tool or as our tool for this project to to get the oe depend dependence so um the way you do it you just go new and create a project and then you give the project name and uh, it doesn't have this kind of format or if i try again and uh, you look at this you have to select the gradle and then the java version you're using i'm using in this case i'm using java uh, 1.8 version and then you go next and then you give the name of the name of, of the project and then you finish for now i have this one and this is what i get when the project is built so uh, in the process of changing this to spring boot spring boot i have to add id and then after add id we need to add a spring boot which you add on the code and then you put org spring framework dot boot and then you give a version depending on which version you want then i'm going to use the version uh, let's say i'll just use the code as i'm going to use version uh, maybe 2.5.2 depends on version you want to use and then we can try to um, to build this and then the moment you build you get this error and uh, you might be surprised because it's saying that uh, the i mean the exception card applying plugin recent request id which is this one so this is giving the, the, the i mean the, give the problem it says spring boot plugin required gradle this number and then when you when i go to file scratch the structure mm, actually if i go file and then i go to settings and then you go to build execution deployment and then here build tools you see gradle and then you check i have the gradle is 9.6 which is here on my on my um on this folder i mean the c it's coming from the c if i check from the system i can also show you from here that i have this gradle here this one and this is the beam and then i have actually added this to the environment variable so if you go the properties or if i use this simple way i just have to uh, to type environment uh, environment variable and it's here if we check on the path and then we edit you see i have it added this environment so if i also do a cmd and then type gradle version it's taking a while but still we get uh, it means it's on my environment variable and it's it's actually working but i wonder why i'm getting this string boot plugin required gradle this but i have already this 6.9 but and uh, the kind of version is this one so in case if you have come across this problem what you have to do um you have to check check on your gradle you see you have this which means the IntelliJ has downloaded this to your Gradle. So we have to do, you have to, um, to open the wrapper, the Gradle wrapper, and then under here you see these wrapper properties. So you can see this is where it's downloading it. You understand? So here we can change this to 6.9, and then we save. And when we save, we can now again try to build. And you can see now it's getting, it's downloading it from this website, which is, is this zip? And actually, by the way, this is is you get it from from um, from the website. We can download any version you like in a zip format. So this is being this for us. So I'm going to pause and, and wait. Okay, now it's built successful. That means we have um, downloaded this uh, Gradle version, which is number six. And if I try to build again, I get I get no error. This one here. So so what I'm going to do what I'm going to do here is is uh, this is that means the the Gradle is using nine six point nine. So if I continue. To, because I want to uh, download the jazz and the dependencies, so I'm going to add dependencies. I can add more dependencies from from Maven repository and see. We go to the website and get this Maven, and then I have the web start. And let's see how it's going to compile. Because I need uh, to start the web, and it's telling me that the Gradle feature we used in this build is incompatible with. But this is just a warning. And uh, here I added two, so I can remove this one. Let's see. Let's run this again. And now, if I come back here. And create the package and give the package let's say com dot um, example uh, and then and here we can create a class let me see if i create the class called um, uh, application application and then let's see if we put the annotation spring boot application so we have it here because now it has downloaded all this jar here uh, because i added on the cradle and then here i can just type main and then on the main i can just type spring uh, spring application I don't run and then with this method I'm going to call this object class and then with arguments and then I close okay and then after that I mean let me try to create a controller here let's see another package for controllers and then on controllers let's write a class and this class is going to be let's say hello example and then this class is a rest controller so we have the annotation rest rest controller and then within the rest com controller i just want to create a method let's say get get mapping and then i want to pass a string 
let's say hello example hello example and then then we get a method public and it's going to be string type and get hello example example and it's going to return what it's going to return a string of hello credo hello credo and then okay, this should be an example and then after that we try to let's try to run this program from the main application if you click here you can run this program if all goes well now it's building the, the project and here it's running and it's going to use the tomcat embedded tomcat and at the port 880 so if i go to the browser browser and go to localhost i get this white space but if i slash hello depends what we type here this one and then we type it here remove this backslash and then you see we get hello credo which is this one so again this is how to solve this problem and how to um to start a spring boot application on the, on the credo by using credo you can use either maven because here you start a new project you have option of using maven which is easy and also use the credo so today i showed you how to use the credo so it's more uh, easier and uh, once you start this credo it becomes very easy to write a program because credo is a script so it can out, uh, auto test it auto uh, it done a lot of automations thank you guys and remember subscribe bye bye